Hi people, how you doing? Very, very quick video. I just want to see, is it possible to take a decent shot? It's not midday, but it's bright blue skies. It's not sundown, it's not sunrise, which is my preferred time to shoot. Is it possible to take a decent shot when the sun's out bright? You know me, I love my Lee filters. I need a long exposure, so I'm going to chuck on my Lee Big Stopper. I'm going to chuck on my Lee IRND Pro Glass Six Stop. I'm going to go for about F13 and I'm going to go for about six minutes. Love this kind of view here. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to um, compose it yet. Compose it? Composite? Frame it yet. Um, but I've got some clouds up there. They're not moving amazingly quick, but I want a long exposure to get some movement in those clouds. The water's not really doing much, but I've got the sun behind me. Um, in my last video, I was shooting into the sun, which was an absolute nightmare, but hey ho, that's the way it is. Um, I've got a bit of shadow down here, which is a pain in the ass, but Never mind. Kind of shooting that way. I'm going to frame up, see what I can find, but just see if I can get a decent shot. Because sometimes, the amount of times I've been at home, I'm like, oh, I've got spare time. I want to go out and take some pictures. It's like it's midday sun. What am I going to do? There's no leaf on the trees. Because normally, if it's if it's bright sunshine, um, and I want to get out and shoot, you'll find me on rivers, under the trees, under the canopy, light coming through, loads of shadows, up against the, the rocks in the foreground, and long exposures and tickety boo. But yeah, I'm going to set up, shot there somewhere, hang tight. I'm sure I took a picture years ago. It's probably about 10 years ago here, but I don't think it was in a YouTube video. I don't think I had you lot with me. But anyway, let's see if we can find a comp. Oh, I can't take my glasses off because I fall off a bloody edge. There's shadows down here, which is a pain in the ass. But I, what I might do is, I don't want to be on bow mode just yet. I'm probably going to go for about, why is that tripod? It's going to be around there somewhere. I might have to, um, I'm probably going to go for about, that's F F11. Ooh, F11, 160th of a second. Those clouds look lush, don't they? Ching! Um, I love those clouds. They look really cool. So I'm thinking with a long exposure, I might be able to get something really cool. Nice wide angle lens. But I think I want the horizon a bit higher. And what I might do is clone out this rock in the foreground here because I don't really like that. Or do I like it? I don't know. I'm on the back of the camera there, it looks quite nice. In fact, I might use that as my focus point. Because if I... Yeah, if I focus on this rock in the foreground here, it means a lot in focus. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Right, quite like that. Nice solid base of the rock. My camera shouldn't be dancing around everywhere. Unfortunately, I need it quite high. I can't go too low because I don't want this rock here being too prominent in the shot. I think I'm going to go... Don't want that shadow down there. Yeah, it's going to be probably a third foreground. Oh, I don't really want this rock in the shot, but... Do I want this rock in the shot? Uh, I think I'm going to have to. Do I want those rocks there on the shot? No, because they're in shadow big time. Yeah, I'm going to go for there. Right, right, we're going. How can the camera be completely still on a tripod, but yet the old level's giving it that? Come on, spirit level. Meet me halfway at least. Right, I'm going to focus there. Right, focus is in. I'm going to put it onto manual focus because I've got focus peaking on and I know I can see then because my, when I my focus peaking set to purple, I've just put it onto manual focus. I can see I've got purple bits on the edges of those rocks and the edges of the headland in the distance. So I know I've got a pretty good exposure. So I don't know if I like that rock in the foreground or not. I suppose it's going to be really sharp so it might look quite cool. My spirit level is doing my heading. So he's on manual focus, he ain't going to bounce about. Let's get my filters. Lee Big Stopper filter holder. Lee Big Stopper goes closest in. He's got a gasket on there. So no light gets in. Lovely job. And then me Lee, IRND six stop. He goes in the next one. He's got a gasket as well. So no more light should even think about getting in. And the reason I know this is going to be about six minutes at F13 because I was having a play around in a previous video. Bulb mode, yep. Got a two second timer, menu, bulb timer, enable, F13, ISO 100, two second timer. You're just about to run out of batteries. So I'm going 14 mil, focused on this rock in the foreground on the right here. I'm not sure if you can entirely see that. F13, ISO 100, six minutes, the Lee. 
big stopper, the Lee IRND Pro Glass six stop, two second timer, up on top, countdown timer. I'm going to change the battery in you, and in six minutes time, hopefully I'll be back in time to hear the click and see a decent picture. Cool, so you may have moved a little bit. How quick was that? Cool lads, still going. I'm only on, oh, two minutes, 45 seconds. We've got ages yet. But I just want to say, I've got a few more subscribers this month. What are we in? Is it March or April? April. Yeah, start of April. I forget now, I think I've got three more subscribers. Cheers for joining people. Any questions or anything you want to write, put down, bang it on and fire away and maybe go in a video or whatever. And whatever, whatever. I've got loads and loads of plans for videos, but if anyone's got any questions about anything particular, fire away. Lovely. Anyway, I just want to say, I've never asked this before, but see that little subscribe button down the bottom? Don't have to smash the shit out of it. Just give it a little tap. Go on, do it. Because I like doing these YouTube videos. I really enjoy being out. I'd love to do more and more and more, but obviously I've got work and, but um, it would really help if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Mainly really, just leave comments and get involved with the channel. Failing that, no worries, just watch and enjoy. If you can understand my accent. How long we got? Two minutes away. In fact, one little tip, when I'm doing long exposures, to see if the clouds are moving, this might be blatantly obvious, I don't know, but what I do is I put my hand up in the air, try and hold it in the same place, just as a, just as a cloud's gonna go through my finger and I kind of hold it there for sort of 15, 20 seconds. And then I get an idea of if the cloud is moving and which way it is moving. Oh, a minute left. If you're taking a portrait shot, and the landscape's going up through the scene. I think it's nice to have the clouds going away from you or towards you, so you're kind of rushing in or rushing out. Or admit, you know, my last video, I think the clouds were going from right to left or left to right. So yeah, I think with my long exposures, I prefer it if the clouds are coming at me or going away from me. I just think it kind of pulls you in or sucks you out, pulls you in, pushes you out, whatever. But Right, I think I put this on for a six minute exposure. If I did, in two seconds, you'll hear a click. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I've got something bouncing off the glass there because I've got two bits of glass together. I've got some horrible, I knew putting two bits of um, ND bits of glass together, I would get um, something in there. What the hell is that? <sighs> what a nightmare. But I can't see it on the live view. I think what I'm gonna do is move it up. I think with that shot, light was getting in past the gasket. All right, people, learn by your mistakes. The gasket wasn't up enough, light was getting in the top. What a tip, but that's good because I know I need a longer shutter speed. So I'm going to go for, all right, shot one, too dark. Secondly, I didn't put my gasket in enough and lights got in the top and made a right mess of that picture. Let's try them again. The problem is I can't see the light getting in on the live view, which is annoying. I thought I would see it, but I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. I like F13 because F13 on this lens, Canon 14 to 35, is it's quite a sweet spot for it. I'm going to go menu, going to go into my... Um, long exposure and I'm going to change this to seven minutes again I've got the timer loads in focus nothing else to change I'll see you in seven minutes he's still taking his shot yeah he's only three minutes in but the good thing is with these long exposures once you've got your exposure set oh, broke a nail once you've got your long exposure set, if the weather's not really changing that much, which is not really, I've got the sun behind me, so it's lighting up this rock in the foreground, it's lighting up them rocks lovely, it's lighting up the headlands. Once you've got your exposure set in, once you've got you know, your ISO 100, you're shooting at F13, whatever you want to shoot at, once you've got your timing sorted out, it shouldn't really change much. I don't know if it's bad practice in photography, but I know if needs be, I can drop the highlights and lift the shadows a little bit if my exposure isn't bang on. So. I know now with seven minutes, if this exposure is pretty good, and I'm quite happy with that exposure, I can bounce around here and take different compositions with the same kind of exposure. Tickety-boo, everyone's a winner. So um, just gotta be patient, that's all. <sighs> Which in all fairness, I ain't got a lot of, but it's just a lush day. Fingers crossed, it will come out nice this time. And like I said in previous videos, that is a good thing. Well, that's what I love about long exposure photography. I don't know what you would class as long exposure photography. I mean, most of mine when I go out because I shoot sunrise or sunset, most of my exposures are under 30 seconds because it's getting quick, because it's quite dark in the morning and the sun's coming up or it's quite dark as the sun's going down. But obviously because now I'm in the midday sun, well, I say midday, it's about half past three. 
four o'clock, something like that. I'm having to use a couple of ND filters. And the reason that I want my exposure so long is because the clouds are moving so slow. You know, if I had a 30 second, get away, get out bird. If I had a 30 second exposure, the clouds aren't moving enough to get a good enough of a kind of whoosh. And I want a proper whoosh, you know, a real big whoosh. I don't want an half assed whoosh. I just want the clouds to whoosh. I want people to look at the picture and go, yep, that's a long exposure. That's four, five, six, seven, eight minutes long, you know? Does that make sense? That's why I'm, I'm having to put more filters on, obviously, because it's brighter, but I'm having, I, want, I want my shutter speed five, six, seven minutes because I want, because the clouds are moving slow and I want a real good whoosh. Everyone loves a good whoosh. Yeah. Not long now, about a minute and a half to go, and then I'm going to go home in a minute because uh, this just was only going to be a quick video because I was passing. And I just wanted to prove you could take an half decent shot when the sun's out, as long as you've got the gear you need if you like your long exposure shots, that is, which I do. Cool. Leaf filters, if you're listening, using your gear here, come on, come on, give me some toys, come on. The other thing with this long exposure is, time actually flies so quick, because you're doing like seven minute exposures, if you take an exposure that takes seven minutes and you look at it and it's no good, it's like, oh, I've got to take another one. And before you know it, two exposures, it's 40 minutes gone. And you're like, that's a quarter of an hour gone on two shots. So before you know it, an hour is just, Ching gone away. But anyway, we're nearly there. Did I say seven minutes? Did. Not long to go. Oh, tight. Oh, shit. And I forgot to say, if anyone's asking, why is he not using a graduated filter? Because I don't need one. Because the sun's behind me. Oh, let me get comfy. Because the sun's behind me blasting down, it's kind of almost like lighting up that side. So if that's the right and that's the left, because the sun's on the right, it's kind of Boom, lighting up everything on the left there. It's lighting the rocks and the, the sky's not really much brighter than the foreground. Not past the capability of this camera anyway. And it's only the ELSR. So I'm, I don't want to bung any more glass in front of the shot because I don't really, I don't really need it. It's quite a balanced exposure as it is. So that's why I'm not using any graduated filters if anyone's thinking, because uh, I don't really need it. Although I've noticed actually, I did shoot with a 5D Mark II, which I love. I wish I hadn't sold it because it's nice as a second backup camera. But since coming over from the 5D Mark II to the Canon EOS R, which I think has got the same sensor as the Canon 5D Mark IV, is it? The dynamic range on this thing is unbelievable. It's like so good compared to the 5D Mark II. Now, don't get me wrong, the 5D Mark II is an amazing camera. But I, I found that I used my graduated filters so much more than what I do with this camera. I don't, I don't know why it is. I mean, I've been back to shots the same time of day where the sun's been in the same place, same time of year with this camera. And it's like, I haven't needed a graduated filter. I presume that's because the dynamic range, because the sensor in this camera is just so much better. I mean, sometimes I thought, yeah, I'll drop a filter in. It's like, well, it hasn't really done much. I haven't really needed it. So um, the sensors in these cameras are getting so, so good. It's crazy good. You can better see in the dark soon. How long we got? Oh, not long now, not long now. Oh, tight. Exactly one minute to go. Something I've mentioned, I've mentioned in past videos as well, doing a long exposure here, and I've left my image stabilization, I've left my image stabilization on. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'll definitely find out now looking at this shot because seven minute exposure, really I'm on a tripod, so I shouldn't need my image stabilization on. And I'm sure I said in one of my past videos as well, I got an email back from Canon. I asked someone at Canon, I don't know where it was, whether it's through Facebook or Instagram, wherever. Um, do I need image stabilization on when I'm doing long exposure shots? And they said, no, turn it off. Like a numpty, I've left it on. So I'll, if it hasn't affected a seven minute exposure, I know that I don't need it. All right, 10 seconds to go. The only thing that might ruin this shot is there's a cruiser, a container right on the horizon. That might be blurring. Click. Oh yeah, seven minutes. Come on, baby, be nice. Ooh, I like that i'll tell you what if that is sharp that is the nuts if it's sharp i'm gonna have a little zoom in i'm gonna zoom in on the end of this rock in the foreground here i'm, I'm gonna have to bring the shadows up a little bit from what i can see on the back of the camera that is sharp and it's not an amazing picture but it's just you look at it and you go yeah that's a long exposure 
that's taken a while because the water is silky smooth nice dark blue clouds have definitely there's a bit of a dark cloud on the top right hand side here but what do you think of that me good old manfrotto 190x tripod canon EOS r the canon rf 14 to 35 f4 Malie IRND 6 stop, Malie big stopper, 7 minutes, ISO 100, F13. Right, cheers for watching people. Really appreciate everyone that's come to the channel and watch. I've got a few more subscribers I noticed at the beginning of the month. Love it. Any questions, chuck them down below. I'm trying to get out more with the camera because I just love, absolutely love being out with the camera and doing this. I'll tell you what, these jammy people that do it for a living, I'll be lush. But um, just gently tap that little subscribe button and hit that like if you want. Don't need to smash the shit out of it, like I said. See you in the next vid. Cool. Cheers. Bye.